Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my top five favorite foundations, the foundations that I have been absolutely loving lately. I'll tell you which occasions I use them for, why I like them, and how they just kind of became my absolute go-to. So I hope you're excited for this video. If you've been wanting a new foundation, I'm going to tell you all about my absolute favorite ones, my tried and trues, the ones that I keep reaching back for, the ones that I keep going back to no matter um, what new ones come out and they've just made their way into my heart <laughs> So if you are excited for the video, don't forget before you leave to give it a thumbs up It really helps me out. It helps promote my video in the YouTube algorithm So a like goes a long way and if you want to leave a comment and those are much appreciated I respond to all of those if you're new to my channel. My name is Patty I would love to have you here. So go ahead and hit the red subscribe button with that said Let's go ahead and get started before I start talking about foundations, I have a couple of things to say. One of them is I have a new chair in my room and it's twirly. So I don't know how I'm going to behave. This is my first video with my new chair and I feel like all I want to do is like bounce back and forth. So this is a little tricky. <laughs> I've been using my dining room chair in this room since I started my channel. So it's been over three years. It was about dang time that I got myself a chair. But now that I have all of this movement, like I just don't know what to do with myself, you know? <laughs> Besides that, I am wearing the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 palette in this video. I just did a 5 looks 1 palette with this one. It was the last video I uploaded before this one. I'll link it up there. And I am still loving it. This is another look that I did with it. I did not film it for my channel, but I do have it on camera and I think I'm going to post it over on my Instagram as one of those fast forwarded tutorials. So if you are interested in checking it out, go follow me on Instagram. The handle is at Patty C. Alonso, the way it's spelled right here. And I would love to have you over there as well well you must know I have dry combination skin meaning my skin is mostly dry all over extremely dry but I do have an oily spot right in the center of my forehead I would say my nose is normal I don't have a flaky dry nose and I have rosacea some days more than others it sometimes flares out a little more it sometimes is a little more calm which those are the best days I wanted to let you guys know my skin type before I start this video because foundations are something that is very personal and what works for me might not work for you. Even though I feel pretty good about my selection here, I feel like these work for most skin types and as I go through them, I will let you know if you have oily skin, this one might not work for you and so on and so forth. I have decided to divide them in categories and my first category is my everyday foundation. The foundation that I wear to work, if you go to school you can wear it to school. The foundation that is just going to look nice and natural. It's not necessarily a glamorous type of foundation. For me it's more about practicality. So the first foundation I want to tell you about in that category is this one right here. This is my foundation foundation. This one has an SPF of 20. And this is a medium coverage, very hydrating, radiant foundation. For every day, I love something simple and radiant, something with a medium coverage, which is exactly what this one has. And this foundation, I find that is very easy to apply with anything, brush, sponge, whatever it is. I think I tend to apply it more with a brush than a sponge because it's very nice and easy to spread it out. The color I have in this one is the 27N which is the light medium neutral and I absolutely love this color because it's not too yellow, it's not pink and it's not super pale to me which means that I don't have to put that much bronzer on to make it work. So on days where I'm wearing minimal makeup and I don't want to do a lot, this is the foundation that I reach for. I even put it underneath my eyes and sometimes I'll like do my eyebrows, put mascara on and just do this foundation all over. No bronzer, no blush, no highlight and I feel pretty comfortable, you know? And this Tarte Foundation foundation retails for $39. When I first tried it, I reviewed it and I did a video on it and I wasn't a huge fan of it because I kept saying it felt sticky. I don't know if it's that like I changed or if I applied too much that day or whatever the reason is I don't find it sticky anymore it's definitely not like a matte finish foundation but I don't want that 
and I just absolutely love it if you have dry skin you will absolutely love this foundation I don't see people with super oily skin loving this one I feel like this is too hydrating if you have very oily skin you would have to put a lot of powder on it and so I think you might not like it as much but if you have normal to dry skin I would definitely try this one in my oily spot I find that it performs okay but that's because I don't mind shine you know <laughs> by the way i'm not telling you guys in the order of like which one is my most favorite because i'm not ranking them i don't think i could rank foundations because i think of foundations as something that you need for different occasions so a full coverage foundation might be my go-to thing if i'm going out but it might not be my favorite because on a daily basis i like something else you know what i'm saying like i feel like foundations have their categories their uses you know foundations have different occasions if that makes sense the second foundation that I wanted to tell you guys about is also in my everyday category and that is this right over here this is the makeup forever reboot foundation this one came to my life not too long ago I have it in the color y225 I think I would like a little bit of a like darker color as well as this one um, but this one actually matches me pretty good this is a medium coverage foundation with a natural finish it doesn't have SPF it brightens smooths firms hydrates and evens out your skin I stand by all of those claims I think this is incredible it is not the thinnest foundation I have ever tried but it is pretty pretty thin it feels like nothing on I think it's pretty hydrating I have friends that have skin not as dry as mine and they're also pretty obsessed with this one so this one is definitely one that would work I think for most skin types even if you have a little bit of oilier skin you can just set it with some powder or use a mattifying primer and I think you would like this foundation a lot it just has the perfect medium coverage the perfect natural finish you put this on and it looks like skin and it's pretty easy to blend out I think I've been mostly applying this one with my beauty blender and it works wonders and just nothing bad I can say about this one I really really love it I think the main reason I would choose one or the other if I were to be doing my makeup is practicality or how in a rush I am the found sealer is so easy to apply and blend out this is definitely my in a rush foundation when I just need something to like lay down nicely and I'm frantically just like <laughs> blending it out <laughs> you know <laughs> this is definitely my go-to for that because it just blends out so easily and you don't have to fuzz with it too much because it's like a thicker consistency this one being more watery i feel like needs a little bit more love you need to like go with the beauty blender and in order to um, apply it fast and whatnot you can definitely do a brush too but again i just think this one is like a little faster so fast application is the reason I would pick this one over this one and then the reason I would pick this one over this one would be maybe I don't want to be as luminous um, I want something that looks a little more natural less oily that is the reason I would pick this one over the found sealer but they are both my favorite and before I forget this one also retails for $39 so my next foundation category I called glam but natural so these are the foundations that I am going to reach for um, on a day like today for instance where I want my face to look natural I'm okay with my freckles showing through a little bit um, I want my skin to breathe but I also want to do a full beat bronzer blush highlighter which I think I forgot today you know a more bold eye with some lashes these are my foundations for like my full beat but also natural skin which is by the way my favorite category because I think that is my favorite type of makeup I like the skin to still look like skin and I also want to cover things that I don't want to see like my rosacea flaring through but I'm okay with seeing my freckles because I prefer a foundation that is thinner and just not as thick as most full coverage foundations tend to be so I hope that makes sense but that's definitely my favorite foundation category when you still look nice and natural but it's like your soft glam look maybe we could call it I think it's like a soft glam but with a little emphasis on the eyes for me <laughs> so the first foundation in that category I want to tell you about is this one here this is the beauty blender foundation I fully finished a bottle of this one not too long ago this is my second one the color I have in this one is a 2.5 and it's like a little bit darker than my complexion but it's the color that I like to be 
The only thing I don't like about this foundation is the packaging because I love that you can put the foundation in this little plate and mix things in with it and customize it a little bit to your liking but I feel like the packaging is a little wasteful because once you get down to the bottom it's very hard to get the product to come out and to open it up you kind of like have to break it it's a little bit of a hassle but I think the formula is so so worth it this foundation is a medium buildable to full coverage so I can do a couple of layers of this one and get a pretty full coverage out of it it has a very natural finish and is very thin which makes it very skin like I don't feel like my skin is not breathing when I have it on if that makes sense like I feel like I have a really nice coverage but my skin still looks like skin even though it does cover some of my freckles besides the redness i sometimes like to customize it i have the beauty blender selfie shield um primer and this is basically an oil so i will put like two to three drops of this in the little plate get the foundation out and with the beauty blender just kind of mix it together and this little primer gives this foundation the most beautiful luminous finish to it so i love to mix them together when i want my foundation to look a bit more luminous if i want more of a natural finish i just use it by itself and it is fantastic even though it has a pretty natural finish it doesn't make my skin feel dry or tight at all and i just really really love the coverage and the finish that it has if you are looking for a medium to full coverage foundation that you can use for pretty much any occasion i feel like the beauty blender one is a really good one to try because it works on so many skin tones if you have oily skin you can definitely use it if you have combination skin normal skin dry skin anybody can use the beauty blender foundation because it truly works for everybody and also for any occasion too like you can wear this one on a daily basis because it's not a super thick in your face type of foundation um, but also because it has that beautiful medium to full coverage you can use it for your more glam looks so absolutely love this one one of my favorite foundations of all time which was very unexpected when this foundation came out i thought nothing of it and i just can't get enough so by the way this beauty blender foundation retails for 40 dollars next up is this right over here this is the pat mcgrath lab foundation this is actually what i'm wearing right now i have been pretty obsessed with this one lately i keep reaching for it i feel like for a while there i stopped using it because i in my mind was saving it for like special occasions type of thing but i really have too much makeup to save it for special occasions i just need to use it right so this one is the priciest foundation that I'm going to talk about today, but I really love it. This foundation has a medium coverage. It is not buildable to full like the Beauty Blender. It is medium. You can build it up and it gets a little bit more intense, but I don't think it'll ever get to like a full coverage. It has a very natural finish to it. It is the thinnest foundation that I'll be telling you about today. This one is the thinnest out of the five. It makes your skin look like you have perfect skin, but you're not wearing makeup if that makes sense like all of the foundations i have talked about look very nice and natural but to a certain extent you know you can tell you're wearing makeup this foundation from pat mcgrath makes your skin look perfect but it doesn't look makeupy if that makes sense like it just looks like you were born with glorious beautiful perfect skin and that is definitely one of the top reasons i love it it is so thin it looks like skin it is pretty undetectable yeah if you have a little bit of redness like me it covers it amazingly it covers my rosacea really nice i will say it covers my rosacea really nice when my rosacea is on like it's like more tame state if i have a rosacea flare out and my cheeks are on fire i will not be reaching for this one like i said before this is the pricey of the bunch this one retails for $68 this is the most money I've ever spent on a foundation but I guess it's a little bit worth it because it's made it to my top five and looking at my foundations right here I think it would be my top three as well you know before I forget the shade I got in this Pat McGrath one is the light medium nine which I love because it also means I have to not wear that much bronzer because it's a little bit darker than me I love it I think I've heard that is very similar to the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I've never tried that one even though I'm very curious because if I love this one, I probably will love that one. Did you guys know that Pat McGrath designed the Luminous Silk Foundation? 
no wonder you know that they're probably very similar if you feel like you have a lot to cover like hyperpigmentation active acne or acne scarring and things like that that one might not be the one for you to do a soft glam with because i might not cover as much as you want covered so in your case i would do the beauty blender foundation or the one that i'm about to talk about next but other than that if it's just like a minor rosacea type of thing like me or you have nice skin you will love the pat mcgrath foundation Last but certainly not least, we're going to get into the full coverage category and my last foundation for this video. And that foundation is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't think I truly ever liked a full coverage foundation before I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. I feel like the closest I was was like Born This Way from Too Faced, but that one's more like a medium to full coverage, sort of like the Beauty Blender one. But this one right here is a very full coverage foundation right away. If you have acne scars, acne hyperpigmentation, you know, sins you want to cover, anything like that, and this one will definitely do that for you. It is so absolutely beautiful. Because this one is a pretty full coverage foundation, out of the five that I talked about today, this one is also the thickest. Second thickest would be found sealer down here, but it's still pretty breathable and not super thick, just like, you know, a little bit more than my very thin ones that I just mentioned to you guys. The shade I have in this Airbrush Flawless Foundation is the 4 Neutral, and it looks a little bit yellow at first, but then it kind of comes down. This one changes a little bit as it dries down. So when it's dried, the color looks pretty good on me. It is definitely a very long wearing foundation. Whenever I have a rosacea flare up and my face is like on fire, very red, this is the foundation that I will be reaching for. If you are a full coverage type of girl, I definitely recommend that you try this one because you're not going to regret it. It is so, so nice. I will say this foundation sometimes will act a little bit funky with other primers and that is because it has a primer built in. So if you get this foundation, you don't need a primer with it. It has a primer built in. It will even by itself kind of like fill up your pores a little bit. Don't do another primer with it because I feel like because it has a primer built in, it can sometimes have a weird reaction with other primers. Whenever I use it, I put my Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury on and I put this one right over it and it works wonders. It is fantastic. I love it. So just do a moisturizer, then use this one and you will not regret it. Um, this one, even though it is from a fancy brand like Charlotte Tilbury, is pretty affordable. It retails for $44, so right along the line of everybody else I mentioned, except for Miss Pat McGrath here. She's a little bit pricier. And that is it. These right here ooh, are my top five current favorite foundations. This is the only one that's a little bit newer to me that I've had for only maybe like two to one and a half months. But all of these I have definitely been using non-stop since they came out and some other foundations come out and I keep reaching back for these. So I really hope that this was helpful if you've been looking for a new foundation and you have skin like me. These are definitely my top picks. I wanted to break them down into categories because, you know, foundations are not created equal and they're not created for like a sole purpose, if that makes sense. So I feel like having options is important and I definitely love to have multiple foundations for different occasions and I feel like it's important for everybody to do that. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out, it helps promote my video. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the red subscribe button and join my little family. I would love to have you over here. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.